Darrow, 2B LPM. Utility. Structural. Stack separator. Followed by your other boosters. Everything looks in order. Alright, let's go to the launch pad, shall we? With the Arrow 2B LPM. Let's see what this thing will do for us, shall we? Okay. Let's let the game settle down for a minute. We're not wobbling wobbly too much. We're throttle up. Let's go about 75%. No sticky keys, go away. In five, four, three, two, one. Rocket launch. Rocket launch. Oh boy, this thing's heavy. We wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly? No. We are on our way northbound. Oh boy. This is going to be more difficult. See, I'm getting overheat warnings here. The problem is this thing's so damn heavy, it's pushing a lot more weight than it should. Than a previous version did. I mean, look how high I'm having to keep the throttle right now. So it's not as fuel efficient, because we added that extra stage to the top, which is also kind of wibbity wobbitying up there, but that's okay. But the thing I'm really worried about is, I don't think we're going to actually have enough fuel here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, does it? it? Really doesn't. Huh. Well, let's start that gravity turn. Oh boy. 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 Oh my god, this thing's completely uncontrollable. It would help if I actually had the RCS on, though. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, SAS, 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 SAS. Oh god, we have no time to correct this. Okay, we have no time to correct this. SAS, hold it right there. Right there. Burn, 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 burn. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. SAS, right there. Okay, this is going to put us into a really screwy orbit. I'm already chasing my apoapsis a little bit here. Okay, that's good enough. Right there. Whew. Okay, let's, uh... Alright, why don't we just hold it right there. All right, we are one minute and 12 seconds out from burn. I should have put a mecha jump pod on this thing, would make it easier. Yeah, we don't need gears on, we don't have lights or brakes, we are just on our own here. 
That was that was slightly terrifying. Okay, when we get there, we're going to burn hard, alright? Nudge, 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 hold. 13, 12, alright, let's start the burn. We have almost circularized our orbit. I'm doing this a weird way, and I know I am, because no one else tends to do it this way. Hail. Look at that. We are now in a stable, circular orbit. at that with just a little bit of fuel left in those tanks now this should be a stable orbit I should be able to stay up here for pretty much ever so if I speed warp this we go out to the map we should see that our apoapsis and periapsis aren't changing at all And I believe, yeah, we just became space debris. We ran out of electric charge. So we are now space debris. Well, we'll be up here for a while. Fortunately, our orbit is pretty much a polar orbit at this point. Um, and our orbit, it doesn't look like it's going to degrade at all either. So what we can do now cut back to the Space Center, hop back into our VAB. So we now know that this launch vehicle is capable of reaching orbit. With some difficulty, but it is capable of it. So let's make it a little bit of a longer duration flight, shall we? Now, let's take a look at what we have for solar panels. That's a parachute. I hope we aren't needing that one. Point zero one seven five. Just put them right there, right up on the top of the rocket. Now, also, actually, let me. I'm going to put them more towards the midline like that, alright? Then... Just 
changing some things around. Then we're going to take... Because this one, I think we may want it actually to return to Earth. I think we have a radial mount parachute for this. It's a little big. Yeah, there's no place for you to mount, is there? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what else do I have for nose cones out there? Not a heck of a lot. Not a lot at all. Uh huh. Not a lot at all, in fact. Hmm. I could have sworn there was like an adapter or a, a something for this. That must only be able to go on certain... Oh. I bet you if I go under structural... Oh god, no. Go away. Sometimes if you're at the wrong angle, there we go. And I bet you Huh, that isn't working. Interesting. There we go. That looks significantly better. Probably a bit sturdier, too, come to think of it. That still doesn't alleviate the fact that I don't even know how... Well, it doesn't really matter. After all, why would the government pay for this if this wasn't a spy satellite? Kerthunk. Alright, let's go to the launch pad. Kinda looks weird with those things sticking off the side, but oh well. All right, let's stand by for throttle up. And throttle, throttle, throttle. Oh, forgot a part.
And of course I clicked the wrong button. And I know I'm running over, but I really want to get this thing launched. I really want to get this thing launched. And flight, and flight, VAB. And we're not going to get this launched today, guys. Sorry. We're going to put the Mecha Jeb on her. Interesting. One. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Let's save the arrow to B. Let's head out to the launch pad, shall we? Now we have this Mecha Jeb tab here. What we're going to do Ascent Guidance. Auto Stage, Corrective Steering, Limit Acceleration, Limit to Terminal Velocity, Prevent Overheats. Orbital Altitude, 100 kilometers. Engage autopilot, awaiting liftoff, and liftoff. And now what it's going to do, see I'm pressing throttle down. It's not doing anything. Because the program itself is currently in control. So I am letting that occur. This being an automated mission, it is automated. And it wants nothing to do with me. That's for certain. It is now limiting to TV. Throttle control. We bring that up. Let's remind it that it can use the RCS thrusters. As long as it doesn't put me completely out of control here. Oh, it's doing some fun crap now, that's for certain. Now, with all the extra f throttle we've thrown on this thing, I don't know if this will actually make it into orbit this time with this booster on it. But we are nearing the edge of the atmosphere. That is a good thing. Just remember, on this flight, we don't actually have... Oh, we're doing much better than I thought we were. Oh, we're fine. We are fine. Look at this. We burned a little over half of our liquid fuel. Our throttle's now to zero. We are going to auto-warp. Let's turn off the frickin' SAS for it. Yeah, because now it's just station keeping itself. We are aligned on the node. RCS has decided to stop firing for once.
we are now in orbit. Thank you, Mecha Jeb. Thank you much. Now let's pull up the smart ass. Now look at that. Isn't that nice? We are now in orbit officially with our first communication satellite. And we have some fuel left over. We could deorbit her if we need to, which we may in the future. Which we may in the future. I mean, it all depends. But, uh, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. This has been fun as always. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, enjoy your space flight. Bye now.